recitals from Shakespeare. Yes, favorite pastime of mine. It's exercising the brain, memory, and also learning something about English, and uh, in this case, even history. This is a, one, of, one of the pieces that I enjoy and have studied, and it is the prologue to Henry V, Shakespeare's Henry V. And the prologues were given only in a few of the plays, and it was a man who would come out and they would call him the chorus, and he would give, at the beginning of each act, uh, he would give uh, an overview of what was about to happen. And in this particular case, he's also encouraging the audience to use their imaginations uh, to help make the play a more realistic experience. And he gets them going a bit. Oh, for a muse of fire that will ascend the brightest heaven of invention, kingdom for a stage, princes to act and monarchs, to behold the swelling scene, then should the warlike Harry, like himself, assume the port of Mars, and at his heels, leashed in like hounds, should famine, sword, and fire crouch for employment, but pardon, gentles all, the flat and raised spirits that hath dared on this unworthy scaffold to bring forth so great an object. Can this cockpit hold the vasty fields of France? Or may we cram within this wooden O the very cast that did affright the air at Agincourt? No oh, pardon, since a crooked figure may attest in little place a million, and let us, ciphers to, to this great account, on your imaginary forces work. Suppose within the girdle of these walls are now confined two mighty monarchies whose high upreared and abutting fronts the perilous narrow ocean parts asunder. Peace out our imperfections with your thoughts. Into a thousand parts divide one man and make imaginary puessence. Think when we talk of horses that you see them printing their proud hoofs in the receiving earth. For tis your thoughts that now must deck our kings Carry them here and there, jumping over time, turning the accomplishment of many years into an hourglass from the which supply ethnically chorus to this history. Who prologue like your humble patience pray gently to hear, kindly to judge our play? Yes, Shakespeare's Henry V. Act One, the prologue, quite the treat. <laughs> Laughter. <laughs>